G'day, welcome to Down on the Woodworks. In today's video, we're gonna build a very simple, small table. But what sort of table is it? When I was thinking about what kind of table this is, I was coming up with either an end table or a side table. And I did a little bit of research and um, couldn't really tell the difference. Uh, I think an end table is probably a bit smaller than a side table, and I suppose it could be a stool if that's what you used it for, but we're not using it for that. My wife specifically wanted a little table just to uh, display a few items in the bathroom, so I think I'm gonna settle on um, end table. Just before we get into the video though, I just wanna take a moment to mention that the legs for the table are metal hairpin legs, and they are very kindly provided by Modcraft Australia. They're a locally based company here in Australia, actually they're in Sydney, and they've got a huge range on their website. So if you're thinking about this sort of stuff for a future project, just go over and give them a look. Now there's no affiliation or sponsorship between the company and myself. They were happy to provide me with the legs and I was, in exchange, I was happy to give them a shout out because I'm always happy to promote uh, local business and we should all be doing our best, I suppose, to do the same. So anyway, saying that, let's get into the build. The first thing to do was to cut a cookie or a blank off this larger piece of what I think is a tree branch, which would have otherwise just ended up as firewood. I was keen to try out my new bandsaw log cutting sled too, so this was going to be a good test for it. You can see the fixing system I used here which I borrowed from Izzy Swan when I made my table saw sawmill sled. The great thing about this system is that with that pivoting block on the end, you're able to secure round shaped pieces as well as odd shaped pieces. I haven't quite decided on the final design for this sled. The only thing I would add to it is adjustable lockdown screws for that top section, but for the moment I'm fine with using clamps. I've been pretty impressed with how this bandsaw handles log resawing, considering I've only been cutting very dry, hard as steel hardwood on it. I could have used my thickness planer to mill the cookie flat on the top, but I wanted to use my surface planing router bit that I bought a while ago, but hadn't used yet. That meant I needed a sled, so I knocked up a very quick and basic one out of three lengths of MDF glued and screwed together to form a C or a U channel, whichever way you look at it. I used a straight bit on the router table to remove a strip of the painted surface from the two side pieces so that the glue would stick properly. It's essential to drill pilot holes into MDF when you're screwing into the edge of the board, otherwise it will split. The way I do it is to drill the pilot holes into the side pieces first. Then the sled is assembled dry and the pilot holes are transferred into the baseboard. Once that is done, the holes in the side pieces are drilled out larger for clearance holes for the screws, and this allows the joint to be pulled together really tight without any gaps. The sled needed a long slot cut into the base, so I used the surface planing bit in the router to cut two holes in the base of the sled. Yeah. 
and then connected those holes with two saw cuts on the table saw. I cleaned up the edges of the opening with the straight bit on the router table. On my workbench I set up a couple of rails parallel to each other and level with the bench for the sled to slide on and glued down the blank with the resawn face down which was going to be the underside of the tabletop. And then starting with the router set to the depth of the high spots, it was just a matter of taking multiple passes across the face, adjusting the router down a little bit at a time until the tabletop was flat. Then it was time to clean up. And yes, my shop back is a Dyson. There were a few lines left by the router bit, but they were very shallow and easily cleaned up with one of my new scrapers I just bought. As you can see, there's a lot of very minor checking on the surface, but it wasn't a concern at all. I actually liked the look. However, there was a couple of larger splits, and the one towards the bottom of the screen had some movement in it, so I decided to use some resin to stabilise the whole thing. The only resin I had was an old tin of casting resin, which looked a bit off colour, but I used it anyway. I was worried that it may not set properly, but it did, so it was fine. Once the resin had set, I used the scraper to remove it all from the surface. I then gave the top a good sanding, rounded over the edges, and gave the sides a hit with a wire brush. I then finished it off with beeswax. The table was going to have three metal legs attached, so I found the approximate center of the underside by taking various measurements across the face. I then used a compass to draw a large circle so I could evenly divide that into three. And that gave me a centre line to fix the legs to. I used a self-centering drill bit to mark the holes for the mounting screws for the legs. And then used a pilot drill to drill pilot holes which is absolutely essential if you're trying to put screws into this uh, very hard timber. If you don't drill pilot holes, you've got the chance of uh, your screw snapping off inside the piece and that's a real bugger to get out.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it around, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel just to show your support. If you want to show your support further, I'll have links in the description below where you can buy t-shirts and stickers. I'll also include a link down below to Modcraft Australia's website. If you want to know what I'm up to in between videos, follow me on Instagram. But in the meantime, you guys all have a great day.